Welcome back, party people. So I just opened the game, and uh, Nico says, Mary? Mary, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, foo. What happens? Everything went pitch black for a second. Oh no, when I close the game, does their world, like, stop existing or something? Oh no, Nico, I'm worried. Okay, so... Last time, we were just exploring this mine a bit here, but it seems like we need some way to get around. So we need to go somewhere else for now. Oh, we do have um, a broken camera with a large screwed-in lens and a Phillips head screwdriver. I don't know what I can do with any of those. Oh, maybe the lens can be used to replace that um, charging battery thing, but I still need something to pry that box open. Mary, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Oh, I need a gas mask for that area, I guess. Oh, we have so many places we can go. I don't know what half these are, though. The cliffs? Is that where I am? Dog's entrance is where I started. Is that where I met the little robot guy? What if I keep going up here? I wonder if, uh... Oh. Okay, so there's more gas up there. You know, like, this Baron's area is a big circle donut thing, so I wonder if I can actually travel the whole perimeter once I have a gas mask, because I guess the upper half is not accessible to me at the moment. Hmm. Wait, so here's where that lens thing is, right? Wish I had something to pry it open with. I can't do it with a screwdriver, can I? The screwdriver's not nearly big enough to pry it open. Yeah. Use a screwdriver to pull the lens out. Okay. Oh. Done. Whoa, my screwdriver disappeared. Okay, I guess that was the only purpose of the screwdriver. I have a lens now. A large glass lens. But, yeah, I still need to be able to pry that open. Hmm. I'm just gonna hug the perimeter and see what I can find. That's right, I still need a six-digit code for whatever that is. Have I read this note? A torn page with faded ink. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and mind. Specifically, the discovery of metal alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. <laughs> There's gotta be somewhere else that I can go. I feel like this game isn't really prone, thankfully, to that kind of, like, bullshit adventure game logic. At least not so far. The kind of where it's like, you know, you have to use the, the mayonnaise on, on the jellyfish, and then that, that'll get you what you need. <laughs> I actually haven't played many adventure games myself, though I did play... Oh, what was that game that I freaking loved as a kid? Indiana Jones and the, and the Fate of Atlantis. <laughs> And that had all kinds of nonsense adventure game logic. Oh man, someday I'd love to play that again. I wonder if that's on any of those, like, good old games or whatever, those sites. The really old video games. I bet it sucks. But I loved it. I don't have anything I can crush in here, do I? <laughs> what, do, what do you say about trying to crush a lens? I assume you will not. Oh, this machine is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. Oh, okay. You don't have anything to say about it with the lens. Hey, robot. Hey. Um, hello? Mary, are you there? Yes, of course. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power, and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. Yeah, yeah, we gotta fix this robot. Oh, so, so I gotta figure out how to how to lubricate its joints and give it power. It's so cute, though. Look at that robot. I want to be its best friend. Oh, man. But I can't help you yet. There's nothing in here, right? Oh! I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course. Oh! <laughs> it exited the game! <laughs> well, then. Um... Open the game back up. Interesting. 
What? A cute illustration. Oh, is this a dream that Nico's having? Well, like, the game's closed? What's up, Nico? Oh, you, you, you see something? Oh, this is so cute! And it's, like, not pixelated. It's Or, you know, it's, like, not pixel art, I mean. It's all watercolory. Oh, did you have a nice dream, Nico? Ari, are you still there? Of course. Oh, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I I really thought I was back home. Oh, oh the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. <laughs> it's a big ball of fire in the sky. Me too. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Uh, I guess not. If you were the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? <laughs> it's Earth. I don't have any reason to hide that from you. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? <laughs> Wait, do you live underground? <laughs> no. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, neither do we. <laughs> but shrews and field mice and stuff do. So your world is very similar to ours. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow! <laughs> the eyes! Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes, at night. <laughs> Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? <laughs> my world is like that, too. Oh! Do you sleep during the night? <laughs> I should, but I don't. We go to sleep usually, but some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> I don't have to explain what they are, do I? <laughs> There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. So you you do come from a world where with people and computers. I, is this not the normal body that you inhabit? It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of those terminals. Oh! I got a motherfucking pipe! I can- I can- I bet I can pry that box open with this! Right, so, fast travel to the outpost, right? Nico, you're not gonna believe this awesome shit we're about to do. Pry open a box. The pipe won't fit under the cracks, Mary. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Aw, oh, man. Oh, wait, but we know how to flatten metal. We good. Don't you even worry about it, little Nico. We're gonna go to... I don't know what that place is called, but it's right over here. <laughs> uh, the whole dream thing was very mysterious. I'm intrigued once again. Oh, do you want me to cross the pipe in here, Barry? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. Mm. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Crowbar! <laughs> we made a crowbar, Nico. We did it. Alright. We are making progress now. We're going crazy. Robot, you can't even handle what we're what we're up to. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube with some broken glass in here. It looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Yeah. Apparently a battery it has some broken glass in it. Well, what if I Oh wait. What if I combine it with the lens? The lens pops right in. Yeah. Empty battery. An intact rechargeable battery. Currently empty. Can I combine it with a light bulb? We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Barry. Oh, <laughs> uh, it looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Well, yeah, I do have all the power of the sun. Excellent. Alright, so we have... We have a battery. But we still need something to lubricate that robot. Oh, but I bet we can go to, um... Dang it, wrong, wrong button. Where, where, where does Silver live? Is that the lookout point? Or is that robot that's over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do you want this battery? A robot, no power, just like the rest. I can't, I can't give you the battery? Well, what the heck? What if I use a crowbar on you? Man. Alright, so I need some kind of lubrication. I wonder if I could put it in my bottle. But I'd need to find something lubricating. You got any advice? Do you need further assistance? Mm. Do you like charged battery? Nah. 
Let's see if we can go ahead and give the battery to the robot. And then maybe he'll tell us where to get some lubrication. There you are. I don't think this battery is supposed to be for the robot. What? Okay, so I need it for something else. Something else that doesn't have power. You want to take another nap? <laughs> I'm not sleepy anymore. <laughs> Boo. Alright, I need to power something else. Oh, oh, in the outpost there was that, that rectangular slot. Was that for a battery? A rectangular battery? Let's hope the charged battery does something. Yeah! I'm so smart. Whoa. Oh, I just got shocked. You get shocked a lot. I don't want to get shocked again, Mary. Alright, so what does this machine do? Uh, use a crowbar on it. <laughs> Destroy what we just created. Okay. Hmm. Will something be different out here? <gasps> the computer! Oh, and the robots are moving! Oh, we've actually got working robots. I guess they somehow draw power from the facility. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I, I guess we did. <laughs> right, Murray? Mm hmm. I am functional. I can walk. about this? I see you've made progress in this world, Mary. Yeah, I was wondering, because that message that we read on the first computer, I wonder if uh, that was someone talking to us in real time, or I wonder if that was their house and they like left a message for us. But the progress stops here. What? I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Mary? Oh, do I need to, do I need to get it on my computer somewhere? Yes? Good. Start looking. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so wait. He's saying that, is, is it gonna be on my computer somewhere? Let's see. I assume, like with DDLC, I have to... Um, local files. Can I find the code here somewhere? Oh, I got the OSD. I'm gonna have to put that on my iTunes. Um, why are you all? Why are you all frozen? Oh no! Wait, what is this? It's a, it's a little clover. Mysterious. Okay. I assume it's not in the credits. Yeah, I was surprised that I, I, this game originally came out in 2014 and was part of some kind of game jam. Which is, is I did not realize. Oh wow, both the soundtrack and the and the art and stuff were all by Night Margin. That's super cool. Okay. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Maybe I should have told that guy I, I didn't know what to do. Wait. <laughs> Will he talk to me again? The code is contained within a document. The document has found a place it belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find documents, Mary? Oh, yeah, in general. Good, start looking. Okay, wait, so so documents? Um... I don't think there's anything, anything you can't see in here. Uh... <laughs> oh, document.oneshot. I have left you a journal. Wait, uh, r r message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that read it, and you will know what to do. I have also look for the metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is five nine four two two zero. Five nine four two two zero. Okay. Uh. I have to find my way back to that safe. Five nine four 
594220594220594220 Who is that person talking to us? It is very mysterious. Are they someone that was originally in my world? Like real world? Oh, I didn't mean to try to use a crowbar on it. The door is still flush. It might be a code after all. Yeah, don't worry, I got it. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes, do you, Barry? I do. You couldn't see it, though. Don't worry, it's a god thing. Oh, it works! Bear, bear, wait, how did you know the code, Barry? I still don't remember seeing one. <laughs> I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Alright, let's see. Uh, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can! I just don't know what language this is. Excellent. <gasps> what is that? A glitch. Is this like a digital world, like Digimon? Is it- is it digital monsters? Digimon are the champions? Okay. Oh, does that mean it's equipped? Strange journal, found in the barrens. It's written in an unknown language. Okay, so now I can go up to the gas zone. I should be fine with this mask on. Oh yeah, you're accessorized. You're way less cute now. <laughs> but you do have, uh, have blue eyes, which is cute. It's a gas vent. Alright. So what? What's up with this gas? Is it? Is there phosphor in it? There's a lot of towers. Oh, a note! There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, so, so maybe I can get some gas something here to, to help with the robot? To help with the robot? This is a big guy. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? A living person such as yourself should not have evacu- Oh, should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, should have evacuated? So maybe there are still living people, like in the refuge or whatever. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. <laughs> Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Greetings. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? <laughs> ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. Oh, poor ProfitBot. At least not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Aw. Aw. Why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Oh, no! I guess tamed makes you, like, properly sapient? By the way, some robots may start following you around the settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Okay. I, I, I want to make some robot friends. There's more of these pools. Oh, a oh, robo! Unit RM reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. <laughs> um, what? Are you gonna follow me around? <laughs> You're not a very good escort, buddy. You just kinda, just kinda hanging on. Oh. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The biggest ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Oh, is that those, those glitchy squares? Bummer. It looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. It's mm. a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. 
Lots of tiny shrimp swimming in the jar. It looks a little dim. And they're running out of shrimp phosphor. Oh, are those all are those all dormitories? Is this like a, a capsule hotel? <laughs> I'm scared of ladders. <laughs> you just look up. Do you have anything to say about the doors themselves? No? Okay. Alright then. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Mm. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. I don't think anyone in your world knows what to do, little buddy. <laughs> Similar building. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. Mm. Whoa. Infirmary. Oh no, I gotta see this. This is a big settlement. Hey dude. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Er, uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, this is the doctor. The doctor is in. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? <laughs> I'll carry on then. Oh, this is a receptionist. Oh, is it a little coffee? They're just like playing with it. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. I got a syringe. Empty syringe. The needle is particularly long. Maybe I can use that to apply the, the lubricating agent to the robot. I'm, I'm just thinking about that cute bot with his cute hat and his cute scarf, and I, my primary goal is to help him. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll be able to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Oh, Oh, and someone's mom was messaging them while they were living in one of these things. Gods, so there was actually people living here in here, I guess. It's pretty awful. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. By the author? The author capitalized. Hmm. Have I been in this building? I don't think so. World is beyond repair. Evacuation at such short notice. I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. <laughs> Some sort of mechanical drawing. You don't have any interest in it though. You just don't understand what, what, what's going on in it. You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. <laughs> Wait, so... Yeah, okay, so you are following me but like at a leisurely pace. Organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Okay, so you don't want to follow me. Have I been in this one? Yeah. Yeah, so... Mm, is that all the buildings here? I got a s syringe. I assume that's not all I needed. But maybe I should explore more of the... the gas zone. Do you have anything else to say, big guy? Stay safe. I'll do my best. You, you, you hang in there with your kind of brokenness. Explore the gas zone a little more. Because I feel like I'm supposed to get something that is contained within 
the gasness that helps robots. Oh, what's this? Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Those doors all boarded up. The boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. You mean like a crowbar? Good thing I cut this crowbar. Yeah. Good thing you magically know which items to keep and not keep. <laughs> what a workout. There's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Oh yeah, I got gloves. Gloves designed to prevent chemical damage. Oh, and I have them equipped. But this. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents, acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas mask into your container of choice. Direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. So I, I, I'm going to have to actually do this. Uh, I need acidic gas and blue phosphor. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. Oh, look at all these robots. Bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Oh man, did they ever even get to live? I mean, at least I guess these guys aren't properly sentient. Maybe. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Okay, so this is the next part of the instructions. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Mary. <laughs> a cleaning sponge with a rough surface. I got a sponge! A flat sponge with a rough surface. Is there anything I should be combining yet? Got my gloves, my crowbar, my syringe, my journal. I don't think so. But I do have a sponge now, and that's what that's the greatest gift of all. And in fact, I am going to end this episode here. But we've made some good progress. We're we're learning a little more about this world. We've met a lot of robots, and we've got everything we need to save the world. We got a sponge, we've got a weird journal, we've got some gloves, we got a creepy mask, we got an empty syringe, and we got a crowbar. So I'm pretty sure we are good to defeat the final boss and, and save save Nico Land. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Wink!